One of the other fellows is reading the Toronto Star, and he says, Sam Carr, the communist, has been deported <laughs> to Russia. <laughs> and we're sitting there with a, I beg your pardon, you know? <laughs> so I looked at it, and what his name was, uh, Karbowski, and he had changed his name through the courts, and actually was spying in the government, in the military side of the house, and they found out, and then they deported him. So on our travels up to uh, Petawawa, you know, Camp Borden, apparently, we got up to Pet uh, Borden, and we were remustering in. And when they started off the normal road, it got got past the seas, got down to the D's, and he kept going until it, I'm the last dog. And he says, "And what's your name?" I says, "Carr." S E. And he said, "You in relation to Sam Carr, the communist?" Yeah, I said, "That's my old man." <laughs> and he said, "Get out of here." <laughs> well. And then he came back, and apparently they had stroked my name off, but they didn't re change any position like that. I wrote a letter to the U.S. Uh, Embassy and asked if I could be transferred from the Canadian forces to the American forces. And I wanted to go to Korea, and I was still 18 years old. And they said, we'd like to... I wish I kept the letter, because they wrote the letter back stating, um, we thank you for your volunteering, but your country may be involved very shortly, just like that. And I guess nobody else knew that, you know. Uh, we, we were doing what they call, uh, it was Machino Day, and we were doing a cross-country run. I had just turned 19, and they said, somebody pulled me out and said, here, sign here, you're on your way to Korea. And that was in 1951, early 51. Some of the bad ones was why I'm having, I got PTSD and I have treatment for PTSD. We're going to give you the day off. I said, where do you get the day off in Korea? And he says, you can go back to Peterson's Paradise, which was a um, echelon, which if you get a steak, some beers, a shower, a change of clothes. I said, okay, where's the Jeep? Where's the vehicle? He says, there's no Jeep. You're wearing, you've got, you're wearing them. <laughs> and. I had to get out in the road and I had two bandoliers of ammunition and I had two grenades on this side and two grenades on this side, all primed, and one up the spout, traveling down the road, hitchhiking, and an American picked me up and dropped me off at B.S. and I had a, uh, two days down there and then they threw me in the back of the truck and uh, I, needed, I needed to get thrown back. I take on the, the uh, poppy fun um, during poppy week uh, where we do Masonville we employ approximately 32 people to make that work for two weeks take in approximately twelve thousand uh, dollars which is a, for a help to the veterans fund and the poppy fund and uh, we, we will try to do that again I've been doing that for 20 years we get a lot of generous people come up and they really come up and, and enjoy to the, the talk with you. And some of them want to give the stories of their fathers and their, their relatives. And, and they, they're really, really generous. And I'm hoping that, that the people will continue being generous and don't wait until something happens. We need the, all that help. And poppies really help, and the, the Legion, and the Army, Navy, Air Force, and those other associations to get on and help all the others. So by donating to the Poppy Fund, you're not just donating to the Legion, you're That's donating right. to all branches all of branches. military, yeah. Army, Navy, Air Force, exactly. ZARS, is that included in there too? Yeah. Yeah. The public has to get involved with, with, our, with our regular force and all our forces, reserve or regular force. And am I right in saying that anybody can join the Legion? You do not have to be a military background? That's right, yeah. So by joining the Legion, you are help supporting... Yeah, exactly. You're also helping the, the regular force people and the reserve people. Uh, in the case of injuries, um, uh, the Legion will help through those injured veterans and, and through the Poppy Fund. And, and, and children and family as well, if they need. And those, those sheltered persons who do not have homes. Did you not look at the one with the kilt? Anything. That, 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 <laughs> that was younger than that. Was it younger than that? Yeah, I was 16 there. <laughs>